actually, it, you know, it's funny. Like before I got into Zelda, I got uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Did you get that did game? You, fun? Uh, yes, it is a great game. However, uh, of course, with every game that I play, there's always something that pisses me off about it, and I, I don't understand why they decided to model the combat after Dark Souls. I, I don't get it. I, oh, I don't understand. Your favorite game. Oh, no. It's not my, not my favorite <laughs> game at all. I hate it. I hate, the, I hate that style of playing. That is my opinion. <laughs> I don't hate it. Let me... Just, all right. I don't hate it, because hate's a really strong word. I'm going to try not to say hate as much. Okay. I dislike it a whole lot. <laughs> I dislike it a whole lot. So and you're talking... There are, you're, you're talking about like rolling around, right? Waiting for an opening and mm-hmm. then attacking and then rolling around. Well, it's around. it's like that that kind of combat is uh, really uh, uh, th- that kind of combat is I-, I can understand the appeal of it because it really you have to think about even the tiniest of enemies. You have to think about how you're fighting this one enemy. Every single enemy has different attack patterns, and you have to pay attention to that. I. Okay, I I understand. F- fantastic. You want your combat to be like a friggin' homework assignment? That's fine. That's that is your prerogative. There are better combat systems though, and I can name them right now. The best combat system I think I've ever played in a video game was Sleeping Dogs. You ever played that game? That game is amazing. The combat no. is incredible, and it's based. It's basically like a Batman Arkham system. It's like the counter system where you're waiting for the opponent, and then it goes into like a cutscene, whatever. It makes you feel like a freaking badass. Okay. <laughs> okay. And Sleeping Dogs. Okay. S- Sleeping Dogs. It's like a Grand Theft Auto clone. And the story is actually really good. And the actors, it's, a- I-, I did a small little review. On it. It's like one of my first reviews on this channel. Um, it's, it's a fantastic game. Nice. nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, they modeled the, the combat after Dark Souls. And it, 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 man, it was frustrating. It was that first part of the game. The first part of the game, I'm like, this is really frustrating. I don't, I don't, I don't like this. I, I'm not having fun. I'm not having fun. Yeah. See, and I, that's my problem with the Dark Souls formula is like, I'm not having fun playing this game, which is games are supposed to be fun. Am I correct? In, I would in, say so. Yes. Especially a Star Wars game where you're playing as a fucking Jedi. <laughs> uh, a Jedi should not have to. It should be fun to be a Jedi. Yes. Yes, and so you know, you you play. And I guess I understand where they're going because he's, you know, he's kind of unsure of himself and he's like, you know, that classic, like, I don't want to, you know, I, I need a, a, a what, that classic sort of emo sort of like guy. He's just kind of like, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to hurt anyone with my lightsaber. <laughs> no, no, it's not like that. He's just, he, he feels overwhelmed because well, I forget where it takes place in the Star Wars story. Um, but uh, I played that. And uh, I posted it on Reddit for the like third time, and I was expected to get destroyed by all these different commenters, but I actually got a lot of support. Really, I was actually Im- really? impressed for the co- for the combat system. Yeah, that's one it, thing. Like, uh, uh, that's a really vital. I don't know that that uh, video all video game developers respect what a vital part of a game that is because that's the part that's supposed to be fun, right? Like, that's that's what you're doing. That, that that's what you're doing in the game and if it's not fun if it's tedious or if people don't like it it's like you know what else is there right that's well, why certainly not. i will i will say this it's not tedious because you're always you're always fucking up because you always forget <laughs> like how to how to <laughs> how to fight this one stormtrooper uh-huh. like ah uh, just i don't know maybe old maybe uh you know knights old republic games kind of ruined it for me cuz because they were so good, you mean? They were so good. They were so good. And and to the game's credit, Fallen Order, I mean, they put in a lot of work, and it is a fantastic game. But, the again, the combat just pissed me off until the very, very, very end of the game where something happens where, like, okay, so this is why my character sucked for so long. I get it now. But it's towards the very, very, very end of the game. You where find you out finally... he's actually the reincarnation of the character from Dark Souls? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he does that? <laughs> why he does those things yeah but uh it it was a good game it was it was, and i'm i was really impressed with the with the story i thought 
you know, it could have been better, but it was it was it was a good story. It was like this is a good step in the right direction for the Star Wars games. Let's just keep going in this direction. I, and I stop. will say, okay, let's go back to the direction that you think that Star Wars games are going that you liked because I want to hear more of that. Well, uh, st- like story based because it it was a story based game. There's no microtransactions. There's no little tricks that will get you to buy more stuff. You know where, and uh, they took time and effort to actually make a, a game that has a a good story uh, in the Star Wars universe. That's all I asked for. That's all we've all asked for for years. Ever since the ever since the Force Unleashed games, we're like, okay, that that was a fun little story. Let's uh, let's get some more of that. Nope. From now on, EA, we're just gonna do. Freaking uh, Call of Duty slash whatever Battlefront fuckery that's going on, and we're just gonna <laughs> we're just gonna make you pay for pay to level up, and uh, we're just gonna ruin the Star Wars uh, video game franchise uh, forever. Wow, that wasn't a good plan on their part, was no, it? No, I guess I guess not. Well, at did least that's like, what it seems like. Jeez, how did you like the Mandalorian? That's a little bit of a different. You know, spin I, on- I haven't even watched it yet. Oh, I haven't even watched. Oh, I actually, me, I actually that's just, a direction. That's a great direction. Yeah, I've heard it's nothing cool. but good things about the Mandalorian. It's I'm trying really to, cool. I'm trying to convince Ash to watch it with. I like to watch shows with her as opposed to me because yeah, she would like it. She would yeah, like it. I I I like to watch shows with my wife because it, I don't know why, but I mean, I feel like kind of like a slob when I'm just sitting down watching TV myself. You know, <laughs> I don't so know it counts why. as quality time <laughs> if the, she's also there slobbing out. Is what you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel it's that. Netflix I and chill. You. Netflix and chill. The um, uh, yeah, uh, Leah liked it. My wife liked it as well. Uh, okay, so it's a good, but it, it's not. There, there's no other. I think Star Wars anything that it really reminded me of. The thing it reminded me of the most was kind of like when they when they were making Firefly, how they put, wanted it to kind of be like a, an intergalactic western, right? Like mm-hmm. there's you know, even though you have all of space, it's still you know there's just one man, and he's <laughs> you know going through, and he is a hero, but he's a tortured hero, you know. One man, one desire. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and so it's very like it's very like cowboy kind of even though they're all Star Wars set pieces so to speak. See, it's that's just cool. really cool. And it's and like I said it's so different. I mean, it, it's not like it's really not like any of the movies. It's just I don't know. It was it was cool. It was a good watch and it's worth getting a a, a 7-day Disney Plus free trial and just binging them we and have then Dis- giving yeah. it back. We have Disney Plus. We just we really haven't used it. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing that we're gonna watch. Check that uh, one I out. I actually yeah. I actually just got done watching Shit's Creek, which <laughs> if you haven't watched that show, watch that show is amazing. You it's like that? So, one? Okay. It's so funny. Um, what else? Um, freaking my my chair. I just got this chair, and this plastic apparently still on there. There we go. Okay, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Brand new. Show. There, brand new chair. Um, but yeah, uh, I think they should make more. I was, re- I mean, it wasn't the best Star Wars game that I played, um, but it was not the worst, and I will probably play it again if I'm itching for some Star Wars fun. But honestly, I'll probably play Knights of the Republic or Force Unleashed again. Yeah, we well, you got to go up to Karth and uh, ask him when he says something's bothering him, and you ask him what it is, and he says, "I don't want to talk about it." <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. You got you I mean, to do a classic. mission first, and then he'll open up. Like, oh, after <laughs> we did this mission that took an hour, then I'll talk to you. I remember <laughs> it was kind of funny because I, I remember being stuck in KOTOR or KOTOR 2, didn't know what to do next. And so I went, through, went to a walkthrough. And part of this particular walkthrough was the idea that the best way to play the game was to be a Sith. And so in order to get the Sith powers, you had to be a jerk the whole time, right? <laughs> so I'm yeah, looking right. and I'm like, it's like, okay, step one, go to the shopkeeper and then throw him off a cliff. <laughs> And I was like, is that really what a, a Jedi would do? Like, I'm like, oh, is that the next thing I'm supposed to do? They just go through, like, from thing to thing, saying the worst possible dialogues. I mean, just, it's being terrible. Because apparently being the, mean gives you Sith powers. Yeah. Back in the day, man, that, that, that freaking game blew my mind. Especially the ending. The ending of the first KOTOR blew my freaking mind. 
I like you, you. I look back at it and I was like, how could I have not seen that? But before that, I didn't see that that twist ending at the at the. I thought I was gonna go and fight that dude, and I'm like, oh, I am that dude. Oh, crazy! You mean like that Bruce Willis was dead the whole time. Is that yeah, what you're that about? it was that level of twist <laughs> for me. It was that level of a twist. Well, it was. It must not have been memorable for me because I just uh, I moved well, on to you- two. When did you play it? You played it much later, though. I I, I guess so. I guess because so. it came that out doesn't like mean I, I mean I it still came out like 2004. I got something. it as like a kit on Steam of like 30 Star Wars games, and I was like, sweet 30 Star Wars games, and I played those two, and I was like, wow, every single Star Wars game is great. Uh, but if it's, if you want to get to 30, you gotta make some clunkers along the way. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. those were also in there. Uh, but I yeah. played a lot of uh, it, let's talk about N64 Rogue Squadron because I played that quite a bit. Did you ever get that one? I ne- well, I never had a 64. I I oh only goodness, had a, I only had a PlayStation. 